What's up guys and gals, welcome back to the Nerd Castle. Today in the world of indie games, we're checking out Victory Road, a boxing sim that is slated kind of as being punch club, but with a lot more control over your character. I like that idea, so I figure we'll check it out. I'm a sucker for boxing simulators anyways. Any game that allows me to get in there and hit the heavy bag and train in between my matches and then fight it out while moving my way up the ranks to the belt, the championship belt, is a game that I'm excited about. I don't know if it's just because I have a fetish for shiny gold belts, or whether it has to do with an inherent need to commit violence, but I don't know. We're about to practice the sweet science. Let's go! Alright, so we got to select our a boxer. We've got Jumaine. We've got Jumraine Johnson. We've got Heinrich Nielsen. We've got, can I customize these guys? We've got Jung Yum Yu. We've got Andre Tarasov. We've got Idenjevi Castillo. We've got Chan Lao. Oh, he's kind of dope, though. I might have to go with Chan Lao. Chan Lao got the shades. He got, like, the big guile hair and everything. This man, he's got the style for the camera. I can tell he's about to be famous someday. Uh, we've got, who else we got over here? We've got ourselves Giannis Bissot. We've got Henry Gressier. We've got Frank Kraus. Tao Lang. Okay, and so that's all that we can I customize. I want to make my own boxer. Ooh, I get to make my own boxer. I'm ready. I'm ready, so we can be from Australia. I think they probably have just about like every country on here, huh? Let's be Canadian. I feel like Canadians are good at punching people. I wanna be, like I feel like Canadians are too nice to punch you, but I feel like if you get punched by a Canadian, you probably don't wanna get punched by the power of the Northern Bear. Oh, they don't have Canada. I guess I'll go with America, but we'll be, we'll be Canadian in spirit, okay? So my Canadian brothers and sisters, you're coming along with me for this ride, regardless of what the flag says. Uh, let's go with, I don't know what hairstyle I want. We can be like, we can be from the Lollipop Guild over here. The Lollipop Guild's gotten a lot more violent ever since the Union came under fire. Alright, so we'll go with that right there. We can have different eyes. I can have a cybernetic eye. Can I just have the shades? I want the shades, bro. I'm ready for the shades. Yeah, exactly. Just give me the shades right there. That's what's up. I want the shades. Uh, we'll go with gold gloves. Yes. And then we will fight in black shorts. That's what's up right there. That's the look. That's the style. We got Harry Nicholson. You ready? Let's do it. Ooh, I like those animations right there with the slide frames and everything. Like the smudge frames. Yeah, those look good. Oh, I'm excited about this. All right, first things first. The most important thing to any athlete is nutrition. We need to make sure you have enough nutrition before you train. Otherwise, you're going to face some minor consequences depending on which nutrition you're lacking. Let's pick something to eat. I've prepared some meal plans that you can pick from. All right. So we've got tomatoes. We've got Zaolong Bro and a turkey wrap. I, I do like the sound of Zaolong Bro. I don't know what Zaolong Bro is, but Zaolong Bro sounds dope. It's going to give us calories, energy, and water. Okay. All right. We can also go with fried chicken, ramen, anime meat, strawberry cake. All right. Where's the where's the protein-heavy meal at here? I need something like protein-heavy. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Let me get this guy right here. We can also look at detailed nutritional information by hovering over. Each of them focuses on different parts of your nutrition, but for now, let's pick the optimal protein plan. All right, we'll go with optimal protein plan. When you eat something, the nutrition of the food will visualize into a ball of energy traveling into the a UI. Okay. All right. Yeah, there we go. Shovel it on down. Looks delicious. Now that you've eaten a good amount of food, it's time to train. You need to train every single day in order to make yourself strong enough for your fights. There are a total of eight different stats. All of them matter for matches, but some are more important than others. You can hover over them to see the details. I would say the most important ones are strength, endurance, and stamina. The others depend on your style. Okay, so strength is the most basic stat. It increases your raw damage output. Endurance equates the defense of your boxer. Okay, so we can take more hits. We've got stamina, which governs the amount of actions we can take during a match. Raising will enable us to throw more punches. We've got footwork, which is our mobility, which is how fast we are so that we can stay up out of the way. We've got reflexes, which helps us in different situations. Raising it will allow us to dodge more. We've got toughness, which allows us to sustain more injuries. We've got focus, which allows us to equip better combos. And we've got will that allows us to aid in our survivability. We can sur we can withstand tight situations. Okay. All right. So we've got our details of our different types of training. Let's train endurance by doing sit-ups. Let's go. 
Yep, do some. There we go. Get that eight pack rocking. Get those obliques exploding right now. This means we've trained successfully. We get one XP for every time we get an O. All right. This means you've done the training extra well. We will get triple amount, the O's, and XP gain. All right, I feel it. That means we failed in our training, and you will not gain anything. We also get extra fatigue. Will attract, you can affect your training outcome by keeping the boxer happy and keeping his fatigue low. The amount of outcome symbols generated through the training is dependent on the time period of day. You will generate five during the morning and night. You will generate ten during the afternoon. By now, you can possibly guess that you can prepare the boxer's nutrition to take full advantage of the afternoon's training session. All right, so we got a little bit of endurance right there. All right, we're moving on up. I like how we're jiggling to the beat right now while we're training with the coach. Makes me feel good. That's the basics of managing yourself. Easy, right? Now try it for yourself. Remember, you eat and then you train. All right, well, I've got some proteins and stuff left. We're a little bit low on water, so I'll probably dive in on that right there. That looks good. Yeah, give me some more energy right there. I'm trying to hydrate or dihydrate. Let's go. All right, so we can do strength training, we can do reflex training, endurance training. We've got toughness, we've got footwork. Yeah, let's go with the. Uh, we'll go with. Oh, dude, I don't have enough protein. Okay, we'll we'll go with. Let's go with footwork for right now. Footwork makes it so I dodge better. It makes us move faster. Okay, all right. Like maybe we'll go for some stamina then. Yeah, let's work that heavy bag real fast. Let's get it. Dude, we killed it. We now have more stamina. Alright, now that we know how to improve our boxer, let's get him signed up for a ranking match. Click over here. Alright, so we got that. We're at the ranking screen now. We can check the ranking list of different leagues and challenge boxers in it. How about you challenge a boxer that's a rank above you? Click on his name right here. Alright. He's available on January 4th. Let's challenge him. See if we can get ranked in. All right, make sure to come back to the screen and make a new appointment every single time you schedule a match. You can exit by clicking the back button here. All right, cool. All right, so we've got Optimeals over here. I'd probably go for the protein plan for right now. How much money do I have? $165? Okay. Not a lot of protein in any of these. Lots of energy, though. Let's go for it. We'll do some energy heavy training. Yeah. All right. So now that we've tried, now that we've eaten our food, but what day is it? It's January first, so we're gonna fight that guy on the fourth. All right. Sounds good. We don't have enough protein for that guy right there, but we can do more endurance training, which might be a good idea, or we can work the heavy bag a little bit more. Let's go. I mean, I'd like to do the strength, the weightlifting, but. Let's go with endurance. I'll try to get a protein heavy meal in. Oh, yeah. Nice, we leveled up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Alright, so we're level two endurance, level two stamina now. Now we just need to like punch a good. That's a oh, we actually train in the evening too. Alright, coach, I'm heading home. Alright. Uh take it easy and relax a bit. All right, a new day, a new dollar. Today I'm going to show you how to make money. Don't worry, there's a lot of different ways to make money. Today I'm going to go over one of them. We'll just starve for now. We can only make money during training period. Click this icon to starve. Oh, yeah. We just drank water. That's pretty much it. Okay. Go ahead and click the action bar above the training menu. All right, so we can slave away on the streets to earn money. There's a couple actions you can do to benefit your boxer. For now, let's click on the hot dogs. All right, so we're going to be selling some hot dogs right now. I will teach you how to make some good old dogs before we begin. Hot dog making consists of two stages, putting the hot dogs together and saucing. During the hot dog stage, you will put the sausage and the bun together. Press A, or press, you press R, A? I don't know what font that is. All right, so we discard, we got bun, we got sausage, we got proceed. All right, all right, looks good. And then we move on to the next step with S. So we're at the saucing stage. Notice how I'm holding two sauce bottles in my hands. The keys are the same as the bun and sauce. All right, so we can sauce each of them up to three times. You need to sauce it according to how much each sauce the customer wants. Try to put a little bit of the ketchup and a lot of the mustard. All right, so bow, bow, bow. Got him. All right, so now we press it to throw it to the customer. 
A rabbit bought that one? Why is a rabbit buying a hot dog? They're not carnivorous. We can practice a few before we open shop. There's a customer coming. All right, let's give it a try. All right, so he wants a hot dog with no ketchup and no mustard. Wow, good to go. Perfect. You are the hot dog master. Do you want to practice more? Uh, no, I'm good. Let's see what happens. All right, so we want a hot dog with a lot of ketchup and a lot of mustard. All right. Next step. Bop, 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 bop. Done. Take it, bro. Take it. You get that hot dog. No, I don't really want to practice. I think, I, I think I've got the rough idea for how this works. All right, I want a hot dog with a lot of ketchup and a little bit of mustard. All right, so a lot of ketchup, bow, 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 and a little mustard, done. I want a hot dog with a lot of ketchup and a little bit of mustard, all right? All right, I want nothing with a little bit of ketchup and some mustard. All right. Apparently he wanted a hot dog with a lot of ketchup and a lot of mustard, all right? Good to go. I want a hot dog with a little bit of ketchup and a lot of mustard. Done. I want just a bun with a lot of ketchup and some mustard. All right. I want just a bun with a little bit of ketchup and no mustard. All right, man. That's a weird order. I want a hot dog with a lot of ketchup. Oh, dude, I messed up. We earned seventy-two dollars. How did it go? You can also send Harry to the coal mine through the action menu if you find it too hard to sell hot dogs. Remember, you also earn fight money if you win matches. Okay, well that's good to know. Uh, I'm gonna go with something proteiny. I kind of just want to train. Oh yeah. All right. I don't have a lot of protein right now. I don't know if I can. I don't know if I can weight train. May not have enough protein. Are you sure? Well, let's go work in the hot dog shack again. Like, we're going to take the day off and earn some money. All right, so I want a hot dog with a lot of ketchup and no mustard. Done. I want a hot dog with a lot of ketchup and no mustard. Got him. All right. I want a hot dog with some ketchup and no mustard. Apparently, some is the middle amount. Just a bun with a lot of ketchup and a lot of mustard. I want just a bun with some ketchup and some mustard. Want a hot dog with no ketchup and no mustard. Done. Want a hot dog with a lot of ketchup and no mustard. Dude, we got this. I want just a bun with a little bit of ketchup and a lot of mustard. Okay, I want a hot dog with a little bit of ketchup and no mustard. I made him upset. I want nothing with a lot of ketchup. Apparently that's an option. I want a sausage with some ketchup and a lot of mustard. All right, man, we got you. I want a hot dog with some ketchup and no mustard. I'm starting to get it down. A sausage with some ketchup and a little bit of mustard. I want a hot dog with a lot of ketchup and some mustard. Dude, this is long right here. I want a hot dog with a lot of ketchup. Good. I want a hot dog with a little bit. And there we go. Dude, we got this. Come on, get it done. I want a hot dog with a lot of ketchup and a little bit of mustard. It's kind of slow on that one. Dude, we made $667. I'm in the wrong business. I need to stop doing internet videos and start selling hot dogs. Oh, we got money now. What am I going to have for dinner? I feel like some doc I feel like jogging. Okay. Well, let's go for a high protein meal real fast. Just kind of build up a little bit. He said he wanted to go jog. Can I even jog? Shadow boxing, jump rope, sit up. Yeah, let's go. Let's go with the heavy. Let's let's list some weights out here. Let's get swole. It's time to worship at the altar, baby. We should have enough money to last us a while now, anyways. So, all right. So we really didn't work on a whole lot today, but we did make a lot of money. We also got fatter, so that's unfortunate. Oh, it resets all your stats. Gotcha. Seems like Harry Nicholson's very motivated. What are we going to have for breakfast? Let's go... Oh, apparently I can customize my own meals. It's a crucial part of raising the boxer right. After all, abs are made in the kitchen. So we can enter a custom thing over there if we really, really want to. 
All right. The left window represents your currently selected meal plan. The right window is the food that you can select for that meal. All right. Go ahead and click an entree one to see what you can do. All right, so it seems like you don't see any slice of bread over there. You can scroll down to see more food. Oh, okay. There it is. So we got a slice of bread. Let's get some protein and mood by getting some ice cream. Nice, dude. I love ice cream. Ice cream's the best. And that's how meal editing goes. You can visually see what you're going to be eating in the portrait here. You can also get detailed data of your meal plan. All right, we'll go back. Um, I'd like to start stacking up so we can get a bunch of calories right there. Well, no, I don't want to. I don't want to do that meal. That meal is stupid. That meal's dumb. Like, why would I eat that? It's a piece of bread and some ice cream, man. Like, I'm all for fun and games and jokes and whatnot, but I'm not trying to have like a meme meal out here. I'm trying to have like a real dinner, bread and ice cream. What are we talking about? What are we doing? Uh, yeah, let's relieve some fatigue real fast. Uh, for lunch, we will have. Yeah, let's go for it. We'll go with a protein meal real fast. Oh, yeah. That's good right there. That's good. All right, so we're going to strength train. Oh, I don't have enough energy. Oh, dude. It's so hard to balance this stuff. I think I'm about to make custom meal plans. All right, so appetizer. So that's some calories right there with some proteins. Let's go with cheese. Entree number one will be... Cheeseburger seems okay. For the entree two, so we've got 656 calories right there, 141 energy. We can go with the grilled chicken, get some protein in that meal. Got ice cream in there? I don't know if we need ice cream, all right? We might not be needing to eat cakes and stuff out here. We've got moods right there. We got minus one. Let's go with some blueberries. Just get this moving on up. Drink one can be like a... We got anything in here that's like protein heavy? Yeah, let's go with a protein shake. And then we'll go with the water right there. We only got 161 energy out, though. Can I bring the energy up at all? How do I bring up the energy a little bit? So the mini burger... So cheese has, like, no energy. Okay. Uh, we'll go with the mushroom, then. That'll bump up the energy a little bit. All right. There we go. Perfect. I'm trying to get, like, a good all-around meal so I can do any training that I want just eating one thing. But I don't know if it's going to work like that. All right. Is that going to stay in there now? Uh, Training-wise, let's go for some endurance training, I guess. We don't really have much else going on. We might as well. Nice, we hit level three, so our defense got a little bit better. It's now officially nighttime. Eat up real fast, get all nice and swole. Maybe we can get like some actual training in. See, that's the meal right there. That's the meal right there. All right, let's see if we can get some strength training done. I want to get that up to level two by tomorrow. Let's go. Yep, give me some stars. Let me have it. Yeah, stars. That's what I like to see. We're getting Resident Evil up in here. Apparently my reflex got some XP too. Nice. And then our fight's tomorrow, so like we probably shouldn't be training the day before a fight. We should do like a light warm up, but All right, coach, we got a ranking match today. Wish me luck. Seems like Harry Nicholson is very motivated. It'd be nice if I could have orange for breakfast. Okay. Is there anything here with orange? Got ramen, minestrone. Nothing with orange so far. This meal is not customized. No, I'll make another meal. Like, I'm cool with it. Let's go with the B meal here. And for the appetizer, where is orange at? Oh, we've got onigiri? Dude, that's hella good. I'm down with it. Let's throw onigiri on there. And then what do you want? You got ramen, curry, rice. Is dessert? Like, where is, where is orange? There we go. Let me get some orange up in here. And then we'll have some grilled chicken. Keep it nice and tight. A little bit of rice right there. Give us some energy. All right. Sounds good. We'll go back. Bow. Does eating matter for fights? Oh, yeah. Apparently, we gained a bunch of mood, so that's pretty cool. 
All right, what are we doing now? It's match day. You can either click on the trophy or you can click the trophy icons to begin the training period. All right, uh, let's go do the trophy fight. Sure, why not? I'm sure we'll be okay. Ooh, I like the hype music right there. During combat, your job is to support your boxer by using focus commands, items, and various skills. There are two different methods of victory, knockout and score. The green bar indicates health. Blue bar is your stamina. The circle meter over here is the boxer's hyper meter. There's more to this one, but we can't use it for now. This bar right here represents your focus. Using focus is the most effective way to influence the outcome of the match. Go ahead and press the space key to put in focus mode. All right, focus mode is a very strong tool in which you can directly interrupt your boxer's actions to override them with your command. In this menu, you can prepare different actions for your boxer to execute later on. Let's try to add a straight action to the list. All right, you'll notice that a straight action has been assigned to the A key. Every action you choose will be to the left of the screen. Okay, if you decide you didn't need to assign a certain action to a key, you can simply right click the action tab to dismiss them. You can assign up to six different buttons total. The action assigned will happen immediately when you press the button using your focus meter and stamina. For now, we're gonna exit and try out the action. All right. Good. That's how we use focus commands, apparently. However, you can't use the focus commands if your boxer is getting hit by the opponent in the presence of a referee or when the condition isn't met. You can see this by using the tabs being grayed out. Try to use focus commands only during decisive moments. Building focus meter is entirely up to your boxer's own actions. All right. Bro, you better smack this man. There you go, smack him. Mess him up, cuz. Uh, I'm gonna put a, ooh, a combo? Oh, I don't have any combos, okay. We'll put a, yeah, put body shot on there. That's what I'm talking about, let's get body shot on there. That's what's up. And then this guy over here, we'll put an uppercut right there. All right, we're good now. There we go, there we go, there we go, now we got him. Apparently, we have unlocked the Mitra Luce. Oh, dude, he's getting... Yeah! That's what's up. I don't have any more focus. We got to wait a minute. A combo discovered. The Derringer. That sounds deadly right there. Hit him with the Derringer. Oh! Oh! With the two-piece! The three-piece! The four-piece! Round two. Oh! Oh, he's dodging me. Yeah, get him with that. Get him with that. Get him with that sweet shit. The fights definitely feel a lot more vibrant than Punch Club for sure. Oh, with the body shot. Get him with the body shot. That's what's up. Okay, taking a little bit of a hammering. Oh, dude, don't do the body shot right there. You're supposed to close with him first. Apparently, we ding-dinged out. Oh, we got a new combo. The triple jab. Tap, tap, tap. Yup, that's what's up. That's what's up. Oh, he dodged it. Damn it. I'm all out of focus. I'm trying to finish this man right now. Nobody wants to see a finish by points. We don't want to take this to the cards. We want to take this to the mat. Let's go. Oh, no. He will lose this match. Don't worry, though. We have some ways to help him out. Remember, our job is about supporting. I have a tasty tuna sushi hidden in my pocket. I saved it for this moment. Here, I will add it to your first slot. It's in slot one. Press one. All right. Oh, you can only throw it to him. Okay. Oh, I can move my guy and basically cheat. Ah, okay, so I'm a filthy cheater. I'm throwing food into my boxer's mouth mid-fight. Like, he's out here, you know, doing the Popeye the Sailor thing. Ow. Dude, I don't know if you want to, like, protect yourself or something, but it might be a really good idea. 
Like, maybe keep them hands up or something. I think we're gassing out, dudes. Oh, got me with that quick left. Got me with that quick left. How'd the cards come up? Kind of a lame boxing match. Oh, I won! Nice! See, that's why nobody likes to go to the cards, man. Nobody wants to go to the cards because you don't know who won. And you gotta sit there and wait for some guy to be like, Well, actually, he worked him with the pillow hands pretty good. We did it, coach, and it's all thanks to you. What am I gonna have for lunch? Oh, yeah, let's go uh, big meal out here. You earned it, bro. You earned it. Yeah, get those mushrooms in your system. I believe in you. Oh, yeah. Alright, so stamina seemed a little weak last time. We were gassing out pretty quick. So I'm thinking if we work on stamina, we're going to be in much better position to kind of like accomplish the things that we... Do we have to train after a victory? Rough one. Apparently after a win, we are feeling super motivated. So we're getting like all stars right now. I feel it. I feel it. Alright, so it would be nice if I got a Greek yogurt for dinner. Do any of these meal plans have Greek yogurt? Like, I don't want to go in and make a custom meal if it's already in here. All right, they're going to make me make a custom meal. He wants Greek yogurt for dinner. Uh, let's go back to the B plan right there, and instead is yogurt a dessert? There it is. All right, we'll throw in Greek yogurt instead of the orange. Oh, wait. No, 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 We'll throw that in right there. We can just modify what we already have. I get the feeling we are indeed going to get fatter, though. Uh, let's go. I honestly don't know what to work on. Yeah, dude. Let's, uh... I think we gotta balance our calories, too. Let's speed bag for a little bit. Alright. Cool. So we hit level 2 right there. That's nice. Reflexes are our ability to dodge, so that's good. We definitely want to be able to dodge. I want to hit like a truck, but I want to move like the wind, you know? Uh, this game is called Victory Road. I hope you guys liked it. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. This is kind of like Punch Club, but a little bit more in depth. So if Punch Club didn't have enough depth for you, this would be the game right here. I will see you all next time. Thank you for stopping on in. Get the game down below in the description. If you don't know who I am and what I do, my name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day, so you don't have to. Uh, check out the Discord down below. Check out the Twitch stream, all that fun stuff. And I will see you with something hot and fresh off the indie skillet tomorrow.